Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in today's video, we're going to look at the second of two ways of being able to set up a new funnel. So let's click on add new. And in the last video, we went through the cookbook builder. And today we're going to go through the classic funnel builder. So let's just click on that. And you're given three options to begin with. We can say we want to collect email so we can choose that. And then what it says over here is we're going to have two funnel steps. So when it builds out this funnel inside our account, it will have two funnel steps. One will be an email landing page and the other one will be a thank you or download page. So now let's just go back and take a look at the other examples of what we can use. We can sell your product. So let's choose this one and we can do a sales page, a product launch, or a membership. So let's just click on sales page to start with. And again, if we do a sales page, we're going to get an email landing page, a sales page, an order confirmation, and a thank you page. Whereas if we go back and we click on sell your product, we look at our product launch. You have an email landing page, a free video number one through four, an order page, and a thank you page. So this funnel is totally different than the last funnel we were looking at and uses totally different pages. Now let's go back one more time and let's look at our membership, which again here you only have two pages. One is your membership registration page and the other one is your membership area where you have your lessons. And now finally, let's just go in and look at what happens if we want to host a webinar. We can do a live webinar or a webinar replay. And your funnel steps are going to be your webinar sign-up page, the confirmation for that sign-up. We're going to have an auto webinar page and then the webinar replay page itself. So let's pop back out of this. And let's just say in this case here, we want to set up the sales funnel. So again, we're going to get an email landing page, a sales page, a confirmation, and a thank you. So let's just call this something and let's just uh, call this test, um, test sales page. That sounds good. And then we can select our group tag and that group tag is going to determine where it's going to go. You can see in the background here, you can see uh, we're still showing all of my funnels back here. It's going to decide which one of these folders is going to go into. So if you click on this, all of your folders should populate and sometimes that error shows up like that. Uh, but let's just pick one here and let's say we're going to put it into our cookbook folder. And then let's go to build the funnel. And this will then drop us into our funnel steps page where it will show each one of the pages for that funnel that we got when we clicked on the button to get this sales page template. Now what we have here is all kinds of different template pages that Russell had a whole bunch of designers build out. And some of these are the same as the ones that are on the free page under the cookbook. But as you can see, there's a lot more here than there were under the cookbook example. So, so if you really want to come in and do some funnel hacking, best thing to do is just to come in and look at all these dozens and dozens and dozens of templates that I think Russell paid to have a lot of these people build. So there's some really good high quality stuff here and a lot of things that you can learn. So what what you have to do for each one of these funnel types is you have to look here and you have to say, okay, this one here says it's a squeeze page. Well, there's no options up here at the top for something called a squeeze page. So you have to know that that's really an email opt-in page because you're squeezing their email out of them. So we're on the right page here. So we can pick any one of these templates or if you have pre-made templates yourself and you want to find them on the page, you can just click on show only my templates and only your opt-in templates will show here. But let's turn that back off and we'll pick somebody else's template. So let's just scroll down and randomly grab this one right here, select the template. And now it gets loaded up into the funnel. And you need to do that with each one of the funnel steps or funnel pages in this funnel. So next one we go to is we'll just click on sales page. And you see here at the top, it highlighted the sales button. And so we can come down and go, okay, what kind of a sales page do we want? Do we want just a regular sales page here? Or do we want an order form? Well, it doesn't say that it's an order form type like this one does. So let's just leave this one here and just say it's a sales page type. 
and then we can come down again and we can just grab a template. Now, you probably want your templates to match, so let's see if we can find one just like the one we had before. I did not see that one in here. So as you're going through and building this out, if you want congruity between one page to the next, which of course you do, you want to make sure that you have the available type throughout each one of these steps. Now we can change the sales page and we could use an order form page. So let's try that because we're not going to be collecting an email on this page. So let's see if we can use an order form page. And if we got that same page in here, I'm hoping the same girl is on the front of it. But again, I don't see it either. So again, make sure you have congruity from one page to the next. So make sure you check it out. They all have names on them. You should be able to match it up from one page to the next to make sure you have good uh, colors and text and fonts and everything going from one page to the next. So again, we'll just click on any template and just take that page. And now let's just click on one more. We'll click on the order form page. And this time, let's just choose one of our own pre-made templates. And I think I only have one pre-made template, and it's already showing here, but we'll just click on Show Only My Templates in case you had a whole bunch of them. And yes, it is. This is the only one, and we will select that template. So now let me show you my favorite way of starting a new funnel. We come back to the classic funnel builder. We click on create new funnel. And instead of taking any one of these three options, I just click on create a custom funnel. We'll put in the name for it and we'll just say test funnel. We'll add our group tag, put that back in cookbook and we click on build funnel. Now the advantage to doing it like this is especially once you become a little bit more familiar with how everything works, is it only puts in one funnel step. That last one we were looking at had five different funnel steps. And if you didn't want one of them, you got to delete it out and change it. And then I just, I just prefer to start with one funnel step. And the other thing I always do is I have a blank template that I created and I just always use a blank template. So let's say this very first page I want to work on, I don't want it to be an opt-in page. Let's say I want it to be an order form page. So I can just click on an order form page. And then again, I like to use blank templates to start with. So we're going to click on the blank template and it will build it out. And it changed the page type to order. And of course we can change the name here and everything else later on. So that's it for this video and for this section. We walked through how to set up new funnels using the cookbook and also using the classic builder. And in the next section, we're going to come right back to this page right here and we're gonna start working on everything you need to know and to do to set up and work within the funnel steps page. So until then, have a great day.